It is repetition which makes for perfection. This sketch, I think. All right, so if Voodoo is looking straight out, like, and let's do like Storm, like she's got her head down. Uh, it's been a while since I've drawn her, so I usually draw her with like a, more of a straight nose. fuller mouth there, um, chin, and then her eyebrows go up like that, which is crazy, and her almond eyes, and then she's got like these two things that go like that, I'm not sure what those are. You know, sometimes you just draw things and you don't want to question it too much. Usually, wouldn't necessarily draw so much pencil, but I, it's going to be a mix of pencil and ink. So there's a lot of stuff I'm going to do with, I think, gray like that. I right? just really kind of create that eye socket, the eye hole as we like to call it. Then you have the nose hole here, and so we're going to put some shadow on that to make that nose stick out. she's got like the very puffy hair but I have I have water a storm dare I say and um, so her neck goes here I just want to make sure this all works out okay there's her leather costume with the lightning bolt that goes across the chest there the shoulder pad there And then maybe even the cape. I don't know if that re reads as a cape, so let's just get rid of the cape because everything else made sense up to that point. And then a lightning bolt. That's the lightning bolt sound. And then rain. All right, another good reason to be able to draw parallel lines. Good for rain. Some of the rain will be in front of her like this. And there you go. All right, that's what we're going to do. My Create my comic. So the deal with water is that uh, it will go off the furthest point on something, right? So like, you're not going to necessarily have rain. I mean, you could have a rain droplet that comes off the middle of your forehead right here, or the middle of your cheek here, but it's going to, the water will run to a point where it can't go any further, and then it'll fall off your body, right? So like, the rain will go run down the tip of your nose, and then if it's not got a lot of velocity, it'll hold onto that nose and go underneath, but if it's got a lot of exit <laughs> what's it called? Exit velocity? <laughs> um, escape velocity, right? Poof, right? It flies off. So that's why that water will fly off the tip of your nose or the top of your upper lip or the apex of your lower lip or bro what in the doghouse? Bro what? Bro. Bro. What? I'm just imagining in the dog zoo, like uh, probably 90% of my stream, you're like going, bro, what? Bro, what? What? <laughs> I'm like rambling on about like cones and rods and people's eyes and and uh, how we're programmed to respond to people's face cues. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so it looks like snot. But it's water. Okay. Oh.
where is sliding down her face is actually up should be up here make sure I've got it you guys all doing well Your parents out there most a lot of kids are back in school my kids start up next week So the hair is not straight because it's wet, and so it will tend to cling to the forms that surround it. But some of us still have that, whatever she used, mousse back in the day. That's what we used in the 90s, right? You just have to. Um, there, are, there are more people in the stream that are than are participating in these giveaways. So you guys actually have a pretty good shot. You're not competing against whatever. Um, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you look back on the old Uncanny X-Men that when Wills drew the characters, this kind of brought to mind as I'm drawing this. Um, Wills was very enamored with like Japanese culture, uh, Japanese women, and, and he kept drawing all his characters as if they looked kind of Japanese. I think especially Storm. I don't know about the other characters so much, but if you look at it, remember we'd be drawing the books X-Men and Uncanny X-Men together in the same studio, I would sit at my table, okay, I'm imagining, so I'm at my table, in front of me is Wills, who's looking that way, over there is Scott Williams, who's looking this way, and then I think our assistant was here looking that, I don't know, and then Joe Chido was in the kitchen. It was a two-bedroom condo that we basically repurposed as an art studio in Mira Mesa in San Diego, suburb of San Diego. And uh, a lot of memories from that very first studio. I remember the first Gulf War kind of broke out. We were we had a very small little TV and we were drawing late in the night and that's when things were happening over there. So we're watching it live, I think, as it's being reported. I just remember this dark, fuzzy screen with, like, green tracer rounds flying through the sky. And we're like, whoa, like, well, let's just draw superheroes, <laughs> um, you know. And uh, we all had our, like, marketing headphones, headsets, you know, like the people that basically make phone calls all day. Like, it's a headset like this, but lighter. Plantronics, I think it was. And then, because, you know, drawing comics can be very lonely and boring. And uh, that's kind of how that technology kind of helped Image get going in that while everyone was drawing, all, all the people that would end up, or a lot of the people that would end up forming Image would essentially just talk for hours while they were drawing on the phone with one another. And that was how we replicated an office experience. But, I mean, once we had the art studio with Wilson Scott and Cho Chido at one point, like, you know, we created our own office experience, but we still spent time on the phone. That's how you learned about things, what was going on in the industry. There was no, nothing online that could be accessed that would give you that kind of information. All right, so this is, um, here's the baseline drawing. If it doesn't work out, I can always I 
that's what I was talking about before, being able to draw parallel lines. Pretty important, I think. So if you're bored and don't feel like you have the energy to do a full drawing, put those reps in. It's like working out, right? You can just get paper and just do this. Especially with the brush, it's harder to control the line weight, so it requires just both control. Like, I'm not even that good at it. Look at Sandra Hope uh, with Sketch Monkey on Instagram. She she videotapes herself inking with a brush. It's insane. The control, you know. So this will actually help create um, good pen control, which you'll need when you ink. So if you look at inkers like Rich Friend, Scott Williams, you'll see on the sides of boards or on their tables, like just tons of this stuff. Like that's crappy, eh. right? So don't let her know that I said that. It goes to her head. She gets really. <laughs> no, she's like super awesome. She's just super humble and uh, fantastic inker. What I don't like about this is, see how you get that kind of weird double thick line showing up? So I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this tool for what it's best at, which is being able to control where the line goes. The problem with like using, um, what's it called? The problem with using like tissue paper and ink is that it will go over the lines and have to white out and fix it. So, but over here, I feel like here's an opportunity where I don't have to worry about that. You know, think about this stream in general. Like, you know, once we get out of this plague, if we get out, when we get out, which might be a while now. Um, saying like, what, what do I want out of this stream? And I think where I see this going is that it's going to be more even a hybrid of the virtual, like the online piece of it, but also more in-person stuff as things open up, right? And what that means, I'm not 100% sure right now, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I have very strong feelings about it, but I've talked about it before. I, I'm not even convinced that anything I say at this point will make a difference. Okay, that's the lightning bolt. And then more raindrops or rain streaks. Um, point because we haven't eradicated it but it's more about um point we just are doing the best we can and hoping and praying for the best all right let's get back to art um so yeah so there are uh see rain okay rain is falling pretty positive glasses half full type person right so um, all right, so there's some more rain. This looks like a tree. Bad artist. Um, let's fix that. How do I fix that?
looks more like a tree. I don't know. <laughs> People, uh, whoever wins, just say, look, I know it looks like a tree, but it's meant to be lightning. Okay. Um, and and then we're going to go raid somebody. And I'll share more details of what I'm thinking going forward. Oh, no, I know what I was going to say. I was trying to think, like, what is it about people that stream on these services that makes us different than other streamers? And I was thinking about this. Uh, while there are, there are gamers that have significantly more followers, like, just, just crushing it. I mean, crazy daily concurrence and stuff. 